Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Crimson's House of Clash. I'm your host, Crimson Pug 94 So, guys, we're going to jump into the episode here. So, basically, what we're looking at right now, we're in the four-time star bonus event. Fill your treasury faster. Star bonuses award four times loot during this event. I love it. Reason why? I just did it. I completed it. We're actually going to go into some live, uh, some uh, replays here. Maybe try to get a live attack out of it. Um, we just had a late balloon parade. Again, I apologize. I could not get a video out to get some balloon parades for you guys. A um, little late, busy with work. You know, I can't get videos out every day like some of the other YouTubers where some of them are pushing out two videos a day like General Tony or uh, Power Bang where, you know, he's able to record every day and able to pump out a video at least once a day. And you just got to love working, you know, 12 to 15 hour days sometimes. But, you know, sometimes it's what life throws at you and you just roll with it. We also have a P.E.K.K.A. event coming up. I used to use P.E.K.K.A.s all the time in this army. The reason I took them out in my ground army composition, guys. Uh, let's see here right there. So as you guys can see in my quick train army, my first army is my ground army. Uh, two golems, 11... Uh, 11 Valkyries, five, 5 minions just for air cleanup, and 12 Wizards and a couple Wall Breakers to try to get through some of the walls. Needless to say, we took out the P.E.K.K.A.s because the P.E.K.K.A.s take up a lot of housing space, and I figured I could get more out of it if I just took out the P.E.K.K.A.s. And I, it's not a bad army, guys. Um, as you guys can see, I just had a really bad attack. Um, it was awful. I miscalculated the whole thing. Um, didn't even get that much in loot anyway, but like, as you guys can see here, you know, it's, it's not a bad army. I'm, I'm averaging two stars pretty well with this army. It's, it, it's not a bad army. It hits well, as long as it's deployed properly. Um, so all in all, it's not a bad army at all. Um, I just did a balloon parade. We're going to jump into it right here. I just hundred percent of this guy, uh, town hall nine. He was a relatively easy hit, um, but the biggest thing is, so I'm going to pause the video here for a second, guys. As you guys can see, this air defense is open. It's prime for its prime target for this corner right here. And really, because this one's kind of tucked in in the middle here, same with this one. And actually, the other, well, they're all kind of tucked in, but this one right here just stuck out a little bit more. Uh, to, easier to get to. So... Drop the king, let the wall breakers break away in for the king. Drop the archers behind to help push them to push the king and the queen inside without drawing their attention to the outside. So have a couple wizards for cleanup duty. Manage to get the barb king inside. The expo is going to target him. The wizard tower is going to take out the barbarians and pretty much help get rid of the barb king. The Air defense goes down. The bomb tower is going to go down. So now uh, Tesla pops up. Archer Queen, her ability gets used. Gets rid of the air sweeper. So now we have a nice funnel on this side, on the left-hand side of the base. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to let her go down. And we're going to come in from the right-hand side here. So... Drop a Lava Hound. Drop a couple balloons to help clean up behind the Lava Hound a little bit. Drop a couple more on the side to help clean up some of the cannons. Drop the next Lava Hound. Drop the rest of the balloons. So right now, the balloons are all going to come together. The Expos are both set to ground and air. So the Lava Hound's already being tanked a lot. He's got the Wizard Tower. He's got the Archer Tower. He's got the Expo. He's got the Sweeper pushing against him as well. And that's one thing I was kind of scared of, scared of with this with this attack was that the air the air sweeper was going to push the balloons out. The other expo is also set to air, air and ground. So balloons come in. I completely I had a jump spell from my last attack. I didn't even use it because um, it was I didn't I didn't use it at all. So it took up a space for one of the haste spells. But I dropped the rage and look where the rage is at. I rage up. Out here on the outside, I got little, some little air skelly, little air larries coming up behind to try and pick away at the balloons. But the rage spell in the core is the key here. 
It's going to push the balloons through faster. Yes, they clump up, which is not something you want them to do, but I have a clan castle that I dropped from the upper left here. That's going to come in behind while everything is distracted on this group of loons. They're going to come up behind and they're just going to go through. And I think the clan castle is what's helped secure this victory for me. The minions come up behind with the lava pups. They're going to clean up the base. And the loons, I didn't expect them to actually get through to the cannon. They managed to take out the cannon. The air larries are just chipping away at them, trying to get them. The minions and the lava pups take care of them. And that's, it. That's, that's all she wrote for this one, guys. It was a really good strong air attack. I took my time with it. But the biggest thing was I had the clan castle to support. That was the biggest thing there. Um, it made a world of difference. And I usually request raiders. I'm not too picky. Whatever I get, I get. You know, if I if I save it, I save it for another attack. It's not that big of a deal, guys. Um, so followed up on some of the YouTube videos today to touch on that a little bit more. Uh, watched through Power Bang. Saw some armies that he has. I can do some of the armies, but the problem is I don't know where to cut down on the armies because they have 240 troop space. And as you guys can tell... I only have 220 troop space. So they have 20 more camp spaces than I do. I don't know where to cut back on some of these attacks and these army compositions exactly because they have, they're have they using every space in their camp for everything. General Tony was the same way. He's the same way. He's a Town Hall 11. You know, he's a really good attacker. He actually showed, he actually showed a really good army uh, that he's been using for three-star attacks. Um, really cheap on Dark Elixir. That's the big, that's the big thing right now. Um, cause as you guys can see, Archer Queen, she's sitting at level 13. The Barbarian King is sitting at level 16. I need to get them up. Um, but other than that, everything else is done. Town Hall 9, I'm just working on walls right now. But since we managed to get that, that last attack, that 100% got us over the hump for the, um... Uh, for the four time star bonus guys, I had a bunch of loot sitting in there from the last war we did, and we were able to go ahead and do an upgrade. Um, we were actually able to go ahead and collect all that loot because if I didn't, then for tomorrow my loot would be full, and I'm, I'm not gonna lose loot because they don't. The one thing I don't like is that you lose the loot if your loot if your clan castles if your treasury is full, you lose loot if you put uh, if you get a star bonus and everything's full, you don't gain that star bonus. It's a waste. So we're not we're not going to be wasting any resources here at all, guys. We need to get as much as we can. No, do not pull that. There we go. So go ahead and upgrade the wall. Upgrade the wall. Upgrade the wall. So we're sitting we're sitting pretty good, guys, on wall space. Um, let's go ahead, jump in here, edit layout, remove all. So guys, we're. 130 we have 120 wall space wall segments left we're sitting at about 240 million resources that we yeah 240 million resources guys that we need to finish um we're getting close but i want to try to see where i'm going to go with this um because i want to i want the first thing i want to do is i want to max out my resources everything a dark elixir elixir and gold max everything out before I before I start upgrading. Upgrade my town hall to town hall ten. Go from there and grab, uh, build up my gold again because the upgrade is five million. I can hold eight million right now. Upgrade the upgrade it my town hall. Get the five million gold back. Possibly upgrade a hero while going to town hall nine. I want to keep one hero free on or one builder free for heroes. So one, one builder on heroes, one working solely on camps, one working solely on archer towers, one working on the, labor on the, uh, the laboratory, but also one working on the uh, camps. And that's the biggest thing I want to do is just try to keep a builder so when one's done, hopefully be able to just roll right into the next one because the camps alone are going to cost me 6.75 million elixir, guys. It's starting to get real, and it's it's going to take 10 days to upgrade a camp. One camp takes 10 days. So hopefully we're going to be able to get something going. Um, I just want to show you guys another, another replay. Um, as you guys can see, I 
pretty much broke even here. Um, this attack was kind of a it was kind of a crapshoot in the sense that I thought I could get the town hall at least, maybe get the 50. Almost had the 50. Um, but this is the one I want to show you guys right here, this 30 trophies. This is something really rare that you never really find. This guy's a champion or Titan level three, my apologies. Titan level three. And he's he's he was worth like 46 total trophies. So it's rare to hit that. And I knew I could get the town hall real easy because he's sitting there. The town hall's down below everything. His inferno towers are up here. Teslas, I do believe, pop up in the middle here by the expo. So he's got the Tesla farm right there. Um, the golems come in. Barb King ability gets used to help take out the town hall a little bit faster. Let them run around. All the barbarians die because of the giant bomb. I uh, still got a golem running around. I dropped the jump spell hoping that the Valkyries would maybe swing back, but unfortunately it didn't work that way. Um, the bowlers and the giant come out of the clan castle. Valkyries are just going to run around the outside edge. Basically, the spells along the outside edge are just going to waste. Um, the clan castle doesn't get used because, as you guys saw, I used that in my one attack. But needless to say, we come up through. They just The Valkyries just run through and just tank everything along the, the uh, inside edge. Didn't really get much of Dark Elixir, but we managed to get the two-star and clean up. Uh, relatively well on it. So like I said guys, this army is really strong. It's a good army um, If you know how to use it properly and really it just depends on base layout and depending on what the defenses are the level and everything But anyway Let me know what you guys think of the events. Also take a look at my let's play series guys We're doing some old-school NES stuff. We're, we're, we're going back to the 19 1980s 1990s guys So again, this has been Crimson Pug 94 Clash away